In order to save mankind, Aaron must give up his humanity in my review of Attack on Titan, episode 24. We are just one episode away from the season finale of Attack on Titan. This has probably been my favorite anime series that I have seen this year, and a lot of that has to do with pretty much everything. The animation, the music, the characters, the story, everything just really works. And this was just another fantastic episode that had a lot of really badass action from a lot of cool characters. Mikasa finally got to show off this week. Aaron got to finally get out of his funk and go through one of the coolest transformation sequences I've ever seen. John is finally proving that he's a complete and total badass, and Annie is just insane as the female Titan. She goes on a complete and total rampage. So let's just gush about this episode, guys. Let's talk about the good stuff. First and foremost, uh, we pick up from last week's episode. We get to see they're still making their way into the tunnel. A ton of soldiers have just been completely decimated by Annie. I just want to mention, I love when she transforms for the first time in the beginning of the episode. You get to see her skeleton rising up and all the muscle structure just sort of making its way all over her body. And then you get to actually see her hanging out in the neck, which I just think is really cool. I kind of wish they would slow down these transformation sequences every once in a while. But it's really appreciated, and after this we get to see Annie is just going completely batshit insane. As they're making their way through the tunnel, Annie is just destroying the tunnel, trying to pummel them all. And they have to come up with this plan, where essentially Mikasa and Armin are going to make their way out, and Eren's going to have to transform into the Titan to subdue Annie. But Eren's going through this really weird funk right now, kind of similar to Simone from Gurren Lagann. And this scene's really messed up, because he's like constantly biting his hand and... All the sound effects and just him moaning through all of it is really, really creepy. Uh, what I love most about this scene, however, is Mikasa is trying to, like, get them all hyped up, but she's being really creepy about it. In fact, she's got one of the most bloodthirsty, fucked-up-looking faces I've ever seen in the entire series. She just looks really cold, and a lot of that has to do with the lighting and the way her eyes look. But eventually it gets to a point where both Mikasa and Armin leave, and Eren is still having trouble. And then all of a sudden, Annie's fist just comes down and smacks the crap out of Eren. Erwin and Levi have finally revealed to the military police that this has all been like a big plan. In fact, there's even a huge flashback sequence that shows that all of this was planned. They sort of knew that Annie was the female Titan. They theorized it, and this was all just an attempt to try and capture her. But everything is just going completely friggin' wrong. And uh, I love when they finally go back to the battle. You actually see that John joins in with Armin and Mikasa. And this is the part of the episode where the action just sort of goes, like, to level 10. It just goes insane. Just so many cool sequences, especially from Mikasa. You can tell she's just so incredibly angry and there's a lot of little sequences in here I really enjoy like when she's like flying through all the rubble as Annie is destroying all the buildings around her and uh, I also really love the scene they added with uh, Hanji Zoe where she's getting ready to uh, attack the female Titan and uh, they try to pin her down like with all these nets and stuff again and I love when Hanji gets right up in her face with uh, her sword she puts it right in Annie's eye and she basically tells her I'm gonna eat and digest all of your knowledge bitch and then Annie just goes insane and does this, like, badass giant Chun-Li kick and just, like, destroys all the buildings and everything around her. And, uh, this is the part of the episode, obviously, where Aaron is getting ready to transform. And I love the way that it starts. And then there's a scene where, like, Annie knocks more rubble towards him. And then all of a sudden he gets, like, this giant piece of wood lodged into his chest with a giant boulder sticking down on top of it. And uh, eventually, Eren starts to think about all of the things that Mikasa was telling him about how it's a cruel world and everything, and eventually he just snaps out of his funk, and then he starts to rise up as the wood is piercing through his body. This whole sequence is really gory and gross, but it's also incredibly wicked and metal as hell. I just, I really love it. And this is probably one of the coolest transformation sequences I've seen in the series. He just immediately explodes into his titan form, and then you get to see that he's just running right towards Annie, and he just falcon punches her right the fuck in the face. Gets her to slam right against a building. To be continued screen, holy freaking shit. Another awesome episode of Attack on Titan. This series is damn near perfect in almost every episode that is released this season. And uh, it completely blows my mind when I see that, and a lot of it isn't just the action itself. All of the characters, you truly do get invested in them, and you want to see them survive, and you don't want to see them die. And, uh, you know, this episode just had pretty much everything, and it was really, really well paced. I was a little bummed at first by the fact that Eren didn't, like, immediately start, you know, like, going into his transformation sequence and fighting, but I know they're probably saving something really special for the season finale next week, which I am so amped about. You know, the previews of these episodes, they never really give anything away, so uh, I didn't expect, like, any of the stuff that I saw this week. It all came as a shock, it was all surprising. And it was all really well animated, like most of the series is, all of the music choices were good, and all the characters were awesome. 
In particular, Mikasa was just a complete and total badass this week. Gotta give her some props. Already, I can tell that Attack on Titan is going to be one of those series that people are going to be talking about for a really long time. And they're still talking about it. In fact, it's still going on in manga form, which I still haven't even looked at yet. I'm actually still just going to continue to watch the anime. I know it's going to be complete and total torture because once this season is over, I may have to wait a year, maybe two years, maybe more just to actually get more Attack on Titan. But still, I love the series. It is definitely one of my favorites. I'm so glad that Funimation has decided to license the series and release it on DVD and Blu-ray because I'm definitely going to have to add it to my collection. I'd go as far as to say it's probably in my top 10 favorite anime of all time at this point. Like, every single aspect of the entire series, just, I'm really digging everything about it. And, obviously, I really like this episode. I'm pretty elated with it, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I have zero complaints to say about this one. So there it is, another incredible episode of Attack on Titan. How did you guys feel about this week's episode? Did you have any favorite moments? Anything that really shocked you? What are you looking forward to seeing in the season finale? You can let me know with your comments below. And make sure before you go to give this video a thumbs up. Absolutely one of the best ways to support our videos. And make sure also before you leave to check out my review of Dragon Ball Z Movie 13 Wrath of the Dragon. Literally just released it today. Uh, so make sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next time guys. Super Kami Guru 9000. Out.